Hi, I'm Sarah. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about my journey to sustainable health and meaningful success. If you're coming back and you've already subscribed, welcome back. Y'all are my people and I love you so much. If you've recently subscribed, welcome to the squad. We're glad to have you. And if you're new, I hope you consider subscribing by the end of this video. I was going to talk about Whole30 today, but I really don't have too much to say about whole 30 right now and frankly you guys didn't really watch my video the last time I talked about whole 30 so why are we doing this there's there's no point so um today I tried to do a get ready with me but I can't talk and do makeup at the same time so you would have seen how this all came together but it just <laughs> By the end of the video, I'm like, I don't even know what I'm talking about, so <laughs> what's happening? But today, I just kind of wanted to pop in for a few minutes, talk to you about what's been going on mentally for me since coming back from Chattanooga. Um, I went there because I'm looking at possibly moving there after I graduate next year. If you're new to my channel... I'm 25. I'm living with my family right now to save money to go back to school. I'm going to be going back to my university that I dropped out of five years ago, and I'm going to be finishing my last two semesters to finish my bachelor's degree. So that is the current status of my life. I'm losing weight. I'm trying to get my life together. And yeah, this season has been really great in some ways and then a challenge in other ways. Um, so it's been a really good relaxing season living with my folks and not having to worry about like paying bills and just being able to save money is such a huge, like fortunate thing. It's a really big blessing from my family to be able to give me this freedom to like pursue that. Um, so I think the challenge for me has been in the area of like, being content in a season where I can't make big moves and I'm not really busy and I'm not, um, you know, going places very fast right now. Um, I've been living with my family since December. So I get really anxious when I'm not really actively pursuing something. And I think this season of my life has been very slow and I work a job where it's, you know, nine to five, very stable hours. Um, I'm able to just like watch YouTube while I do my work. It's so low key and it's so low maintenance that I get a little bit stir crazy when I think about all the things that I'm not doing because things are so relaxed. It's such a dumb thing. Like when I say it out loud, it sounds so dumb when I feel like I'm complaining about my life being so non-stressful that it's stressing me out at, at how many things are not stressing me out. I'm stressed about that. It, it just doesn't make sense. But that's, <laughs> that's how I operate, I guess. Um, on a side note, I, I realize that my mental health is nobody's business on the internet. However, with full transparency of like my journey, my weight loss journey and wellness journey. Um, I will say that my therapist did refer me to a psychiatrist to see if I could be on like a low, like a low dose of anti anxiety kind of <laughs> medication. Cause I can't stop my thoughts from just like thinking about all the different things that I could be doing or that I should be doing. And I really just need to chill the F out and um, in a more professional way, my therapist told me that. <laughs> so, um, so I think today I just kind of wanted to chat with you about the idea of contentment um, when things don't seem to be happening as fast as you think they ought to be or you think you ought to be operating at a fast pace when you're not. Um, just a little content warning. I do want to just let you know that I'm I will briefly mention suicidal thoughts and depression. So I hope that that's not a trigger for you. But if it is, learn about me in a different video and, and we we don't have to go there. I am thinking about going back to school and going back to school. I, I took a medical leave of absence five years ago. 
um, in the middle of my senior year because I was going through a lot of internal stuff and physical, like I was dealing with mental and physical health problems to a very acute degree. And so thinking about going back to that environment where I was struggling with some of the deepest depression that I have ever experienced and some of the deepest trauma that I have ever gone through. Um, it's daunting to be returning back to that, uh, that environment. I will say that I am looking forward to the opportunity to conquer that um, and to face my past with that and I think I am ready <laughs> um but yeah it's it's been a lot on my mind this leading into this summer and leading into this next school year um it just is bringing up a lot of different things that you know I'm I'm now processing because I'm at a point where I am able to process that but um I watched the Disney movie Soul yesterday for the first time I clicked on it thinking I was just going to watch a little Disney cartoon about jazz <laughs> on a Saturday afternoon, but holy cow, no, it's, <laughs> it's so much more than that. I think some people don't really get the movie, but I think for me or for other people who have been in a situation where they really don't know why they're here on earth, um, a lot of the elements of that movie could be um, like relatable and that movie made me cry like I was not prepared and I'm I'm watching this movie and it's it's bringing me back to remembering six years ago I was really suicidal um and there have been there have been moments in the past six years where it'll be just a simple moment like breathing in a breath of of air and being able to like catch the fragrance of you know trees nearby or um there's a particular moment where i studied abroad in ecuador for eight weeks after that depression and i i studied abroad and learned a whole different culture and immersed myself in a in a completely different culture and I remember sitting at the top of this mountain because I wasn't physically well enough to make the hike with the group. So I, I stayed back and um, I'm just sitting at the top of this mountain for like two hours while the rest of the group was hiking. And I remember looking down into this valley where the river's running through it and I'm just like breathing in this nature that I had never experienced prior. And um uh, and I remember thinking, had I killed myself last year, I wouldn't be here for this. And so that was, I think that has sparked a lot of thoughts of just like, what is happening for me right now that I can just breathe in this moment and be grateful to just be here. Um, I know that right now it's not a season of romantic relationships for me just because my life is moving, um, you know, in three months, it'll be relocating. And then in, you know, six months after that, it'll be relocating again. Um, so I'm not really trying to tie myself down with rom romantic relationships right now. Um, I'm not even really investing in a ton of friendships or um, really surrounding myself with too many people outside of my immediate family. But it is a season for me to really lean into my immediate family. Like I come home from work every day and I get to spend at least an hour a day with my mom, just chatting and catching up and talking about things that matter to us. And I think right now it's a season of me being able to lean into that and be really grateful that this is what I can do right now. Um, this is what I can invest in right now. And I know that there's a lot of people who would give up anything to be able to do that with their mom again. Um, so cherishing the, the season that I'm in currently rather than constantly being fixated on something that can't happen for me right now um, or is just not, it's just not the timing yet. And in the movie Soul that actually like captured the, the 
element of fixation where they they're talking about lost souls and souls who are li alive on earth but their mind is completely somewhere else and that for me was like a brilliant illustration of how depression feels for me because I get fixated on things that are out of my control or fixated on things that I've heard about myself or that I feel about myself that stop me from being present in the world right now and stop me from being like fully here to enjoy the life that I have been gifted right now. Um, instead, my mind is elsewhere being fixated on something that's out of my control or something that's not true about myself. Um, so I've been, I've been really reflecting on being present in the moment and also just enjoying the season that I'm in right now. But I've also had to do some really like practical things for me to stop feeling like I need to acquire more things because I am not enough. Um, so for me, I, uh, <laughs> a couple days ago, I wrote down a list of hobbies or interests that I'm deeply interested in that doesn't require me to change myself. It's not self-help stuff because I've always been that kid who instead of reading like fictional books or instead of reading weird like sci-fi stuff or whatever, um, I was reading self-help books even at like a really young age. And so for me to break away from that and start exploring interests that doesn't make me feel like I have to change something about myself, doesn't make me feel like I have to lose weight or buy more clothes or buy more makeup or, um, you know, be in a relationship or anything like that that makes me feel incomplete outside of myself. Um, I've had to like lean into those interests. So for me, it's like stuff with about health and wellness, not person like yes I want to lose weight and that's what I'm focusing on for myself but I'm also just deeply interested in that as a general topic so health and wellness um like personal finance business investing I'm trying to get more into that because I'm not really fluent in in that kind of interest right now but I really want to know more about it um psychology in a lot of different aspects especially with like cults and relationships and foster care and trauma those are things that I'm like deeply interested in um learning different cultures and languages like I'm semi-fluent in Spanish and then I'm learning French as well religion um not just for my own personal relationship with God but deconstructing the fundamentalist beliefs that I grew up around like my parents weren't really fundamentalist Christians but I grew up around a lot of people who had very strict Christian beliefs and now I'm like deeply interested in deconstructing those beliefs and like trying to figure out for myself what I feel is like over the top extra versus like what I think the Bible actually means like I don't know religion is deeply interesting to me um and then also just like growing my platform on YouTube and social media, even though I'm not deeply interested in social media, like I don't actually like sharing my entire life <laughs> on the internet. Um, but I do want to grow a platform in which I can like share my story and hopefully help other people. So um, that is something that I'm interested in, but not for like the personal enjoyment of social media. It's just I want to learn more about growing a platform where, you know, I can help more people with my own story. I don't know, but those are all things that I've been leaning into and that I plan on continuing to lean into this summer that is not going to make me feel like I'm never enough or that I need to constantly be rooting out things in my character that needs fixing um, that I need to constantly be de developing new habits. And if I don't have this habit, then I'm a failure or a loser. Like, I just need to lean into hobbies and interests that um, don't actually reflect anything on my self worth. It's just fun things to learn about that expand me as a person, but don't make me feel like I'm trying to fix myself, if that makes sense. And then beyond that, um, I have, I'm on social media all the time. Like I'm on YouTube all the time when I'm at work 
and I have deep interests in like makeup and fashion and hair and nails and all these different things and I'm like a girl's girl in that sense that's like I am all about femininity and dressing and whatever um but I also don't have any sort of like budget for buying more things <laughs> I'm really trying to save my money so it's hard to be interested in something that is in and of itself like a consumeristic industry <laughs> like the beauty industry is constantly trying to sell you more products by the time you've you know clicked submit order you've got five more advertisements in your face as you're scrolling Instagram and like before the first order ever ships to your house you're already like thinking about things that you could order next and that's a lot <laughs> it's a very expensive way to be so um this summer I've been focusing on creating like a signature look and curating different things for my look that if it's not within that that signature look then I'm not gonna buy it so like I don't buy expensive like hair tools or hair products like I stick with simple hair products that maintain this style and I got it permed for that exact reason I am very low maintenance when it comes to my hair and I don't want to style my hair different ways every day so I found something that just kind of works as a signature look um in terms of like makeup products I did purchase a three-month subscription to BoxyCharm so that I wouldn't go to Target like I don't allow myself in Target anymore because I drop money there too much when I go there <laughs> So I just don't allow myself in Target anymore. So instead I got a subscription box to BoxyCharm. This video isn't sponsored by them or anything. But um, I like receiving monthly shipments of something that's like, oh, look, I'm, <laughs> I'm treating myself. But um, it's just like a $25 a month kind of thing where it's like you're not going on a total shopping spree and it's not driven by constantly feeling like you need more it's just you get a nice little box of little little products that you can get so that's the only thing that I'm allowing myself this summer to splurge on is a little box subscription to makeup products but beyond that with like fashion and stuff that's why I've pared it down to all black so that I don't feel tempted to buy the next like clothing trend and every look I look the same every single day and that's how I like it because I feel most confident in this particular signature look so I don't feel like I need to constantly be keeping up on the trends or keeping up with you know whoever um and I can just have my signature look where I feel confident those are things that help me not feel like I constantly have to be purchasing something else to make me feel like I am, you know, the confident whole person that I want to be. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, those were kind of just like my hodgepodge of thoughts for the day. <laughs> that um, even if you're going through a really tough time and you're, um, you know, you're not really sure exactly what your purpose is on earth and you don't really know what your passion is, you don't have to know that right now and um, for a lot of people, especially people who've gone through the kind of level of depression that I've been through, um, sometimes it's, it, it is enough to just be able to be present in your day and soak in the gift of, of life and have joy in the little things. And if you're feeling like the kind of content that you're consuming makes you feel like you're not enough and you constantly have to fix yourself, then maybe change the content that you're consuming to be more neutral in just learning about different things or learning about fields or, you know, different like industries that you might be interested in, but that doesn't make you feel like you have to change yourself in order to be happy. And in terms of like, consumerism find your classic sweet spot find your signature thing and then um really hone in on that like curate that 
So you do kind of have that consumerism in there, but also have a balance of not having to reach for the, the latest trend because you have your, you've got your classic thing. And I, for me personally, I would rather be more classic than trendy. Um, and that's a personal preference thing, but for me, it helps me feel like I don't have to spend a ton of money every time some new trend comes out. Like I, I feel a little bit more <laughs> secure <laughs> in my sense of style if I feel like I've just got my classic signature look. Anyway, <laughs> those are my thoughts for the day. I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. This coming Wednesday, I'm going to be talking more about um, my second, my, the second part of my response to this last um, person who messaged me. And we're talking about the likelihood of accomplishing your dreams if you're not using a multi-level marketing business and how to actually like go after, you know, the kind of life that you want to build without, you know, being in a multi-level marketing company. So we're going to talk more about that on Wednesday. And then who knows what's going to happen on Sunday. It seems to be pretty unpredictable right now. So anyway, okay, bye.